air conditioners, loud fans, or keyboard typing, we've all experienced some unwanted sounds or noises in our audio. In this video, we'll show you how to reduce background noise in Wavelink using audio effects. Options for removing noise fall into two primary types, noise gates and noise filtering, or suppression. Noise gates, without much exception, are all about muting the audio stream when the audio signal drops below some threshold. The idea is that when talking, your voice is louder than the threshold. Unwanted sounds like typing, fans, etc. are almost always quieter than the threshold and are muted. However, the moment you begin speaking, your voice, along with that noise, will still come through to the listener. Let's start off with the first type, the noise gate, specifically the VST called D-gate. We've shown this VST in a few other of our videos for its very straightforward interface. To begin, keep an eye on your stream mix audio meter. Slowly lower the threshold down until your microphone channel stops coming through. At this point, D-gate is muting the quieter background noise. If you begin speaking, your much louder voice will pass through the noise gate into the stream mix. You can now begin to fine tune the level to make sure it cuts out as much noise as possible without affecting your voice. And that's all there is. Close out the control panel and you're set. Next up, noise filtering. These more advanced options are all about using some sort of algorithm to separate the desired parts of the signal from the undesired parts. Some use a sample that you generate, others adapt over time sensing consistent noise, and then others may use an AI model trained around the human voice. First up, we're looking at RN noise. RN noise is a noise suppression algorithm developed by Jean-Marc Fallin at his time at the Ziff Foundation. Same group behind formats like Speaks, Vorpis, Flack, and more. RN noise uses a neural network to detect human speech and intelligently remove what it believes is noise. RN noise is fast enough to run right on your processor without a dedicated graphics card. In Wavelink, we're using the VST version of RN noise, which is available on GitHub. This VST does not have a control panel with Wavelink, so it's normal for a blank window to appear when adding this audio effect to your Wavelink channel, making it pretty much plug and play and being one of our first recommendations for trying out. Let's hear how it sounds. In this example, I have a loud computer server running in the background, and I'm typing on a mechanical keyboard. Here is the original. Elgato is a world-leading provider of audiovisual technology for content creators on all video sharing platforms. And here it is filtered. Elgato is a world-leading provider of audiovisual technology for content creators on all video sharing platforms. As you can hear, RN Noise does a decent job of filtering this audio. It handles the consistent fan noise rather well, and keyboard sounds are reduced substantially. And it does this all while using a small amount of processing power. Keep in mind that RN Noise is trained on the human voice. If you're looking to apply this audio effect to a music channel or game audio, it could sound very strange. Best to stick to using it on a microphone or voice channel only. Next, we have a plugin from the Reaper VST bundle called Refer. Though in this video, we may refer to it as Refer. If you're curious, FIR stands for Finite Impulse Response. Refer is what is known as a dynamics processor, which can do a whole lot of different things, but we're going to be focusing on a mode called Subtract for removing specific frequencies. Once it is added to our microphone channel, and we're looking at the control panel for the effect, we're going to switch the mode to Subtract. Then, quietly, click on Automatically Build Profile and stay quiet. At this time, Refer is listening to the signal being received and building a noise profile, which will then be used to subtract or remove specific frequencies and sounds from the signal afterwards. A few seconds should be all that we need. If you've ever used the noise reduction effect inside of Adobe Audition, this behaves very similarly. Once you're finished, uncheck the box and close your control panel. The audio is now being filtered by this audio effect using the noise profile you just collected. Let's hear how this sounds in real time. Same setup as before, loud computer fans with me typing. Original. Elgato is a world-leading provider of audiovisual technology for content creators on all video sharing platforms. And filtered.
Elgato is a world-leading provider of audiovisual technology for content creators on all video sharing platforms. It's important to note that Refer uses a sound profile generated from background noise, so it is only tuned for that specific audio. If the background noise changes in some way, then so will your audio quality. For that reason, it's good to tune this on very consistent background noise like fans or hum and the like. Intermittent noise like keyboard typing will prove a challenge for it. If you wish to increase or decrease the amount of filtering provided by Refer, hold Control and drag up or down on the red line. We recommend beginning with a noise gate, such as D gate, to start out. If you find that you need additional noise control, give RN Noise a try. If you would like to have more manual control over your noise filtering, try out Refer from the Reaper VST bundle. Since Wavelink supports multiple audio effects per channel, it's important to organize your effects in the proper order. Generally, noise suppression should be first in your list, then noise gates, and then any aesthetic processing such as equalizers or compression. Try experimenting with adding a noise gate after a noise suppression effect. And of course, remember that these noise reduction effects can be applied to any channel inside of Wavelink, not just your microphone. You may wish to apply one of these effects like RN noise to a voice chat channel to clean up some of the noise from others you're talking to, who may not be as conscious of the noise as you are. You can find links to these effects in the description. If you happen to have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to us on Elgato Workshop to learn how to get the most out of your Wave microphone and other Elgato products. Thanks for watching.